video game uh, collection part two. Here we're gonna um, go with our PlayStation 2 games, but first, I want to tell you this is really interesting. They have video games based on, or movies based on video games. This one here I have is Final Fantasy VII. Parasite Eve, that one is really unique because it has to do with Parasite Eve video games that we're going to get to in our PlayStation 1 collection. And then Halo Legends, that game is uh, a pretty good game, I guess. And uh, they made a movie out of that, and it's all um, an anime movie kind of thing. Here's the PlayStation 2 games I wanted to get to. Um, <laughs> The one I have is Final Fantasy um, 12, Final Fantasy X, which is kind of ridiculous, but um, I have it, and it has um, everything to do with Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy X 2, isn't that cool, Emma? Yeah, I remember when you played that game. <laughs> well, it was the first one that I played, yes. And then we have Katami Dasami. We love Katanami. Whatever. God of War. God of War 2. Keep in mind, all these games are complete. And, um, except when I say it's not, okay? And they're all in the original artwork. And, um, this is, um, R302. It's a pretty rare game there. Um, Dragon Quest VIII, that one actually features real-time, uh, music. So, um, it's like a, um, sympathy, sympathy, um, that's going on with that. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which has ten Mega Mans in one disc. Mega Man 1 through 8, it says, and two never before released in the U.S., Arcade style games. Okay. Um, uh, Mega Man X Collection, which has seven games in one. Mega Man X through Mega Man X6 in one incredible collection, it says. And then there's a racing game, which I've never gotten access to. And then there's um, this one game called um, Kingdom Hearts 2, which is a pretty popular one, I guess. And then Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And then Dark Cloud 2, which is a pretty rare game. Um, Manic Kanuda, which is a really cool game. But I'm really stuck at a place, so I can't get uh, very far in that when you're stuck. And then Distega 2, which is a really fun um, tactical RPG game. That one's really cool. Shining Tears, which is a kind of a rare game. Metal Gear Solid 3. And Metal Gear Solid 3 Substance, which includes um, never-before-released games Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. And that was for the MSX. So that game is pretty fun. Medal of Honor European Assault, which is a pretty underrated game, I think. Tales of Legilia. That game's pretty fun. And then we also have Stella Deuce. And then this Jurassic Park um, Operation Genesis, which didn't come with the instructions, and the disc is really scratched up bad. Other than that, all these other discs are in pretty good condition. Haunting Ground, which is really rare. I have only been able to see it a couple of times. And then this Altair Iris is even rarer because I've only seen one copy of that one around in the wild. And then Persona 4, Persona 3, and that one's the FES edition of it. Xenosaga. Xenosaga 2, Xenosaga 3, which is really rare, and then Grosslander Generations has two games in there, and uh, 
um, I have been able, I was able to pick that one up on eBay for pretty cheap. Soak it in five, soak it in four, and then also we have Rue Galaxy. And then Blue Prior Tactics. And then this Maca Kingdom game. Valkyrie Profile 2. Shadow Hearts Convenient. Shadow Hearts from the New World. And the original Shadow Hearts. Now, that you can imagine is a pretty rare game uh, as well. And anyway, you can see that most of these are all RPG games because I'm an RPG fan. Now, Emma has some games there too. Which ones do you have? They're both SpongeBob Grandpins, and they're both really hard. But <laughs> the hardest, this one's a little bit hard. I have got past most of them. There are levels with my dad. This one, I am a crazy driver with. Oh my goodness! Now, why don't you like that one over there? Taking over the business and they have to save the day. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, and I got these in a SpongeBob pack. There's two in one. Two in one. That is really cool. Now, with that other game, why do you like that one so much? Well, it's pretty easy. I just don't go on the plankton part because plankton <laughs> are the hardest one to beat. Whoa! Well, we're inside a Wilbox, a giant Wilbox head in this one. Okay, well that's that's all we got to say about these games right now, and we'll have some more at a later date. Goodbye.